Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amelia here again. And in the previous videos, we did the forward leaning inversion. And then we did the, the squat with the scarf up onto the, the Cadillac to help. Uh, it does a lot of things, but we, we did it mainly to help maintain that length in the, the lower uterus in the front of the hip. Um, and what's even a better position is this one that's to the outside of the Cadillac where we're gonna use the scarf. So you can use the same choreography that we did up on the Cadillac, but I turned the um, sitting box on its other side so it's a little bit higher. And we have the BOSU and that airplane pillow, right? So you can use the same choreography. But then I wanted to add on a little bit of a sacral release. And normally, I mean, the mother could use her own hands at the bottom of the belly and start to do a little unwinding of the pelvis and the sacrum and just the heat of the hands can start to open up that fascia around the lower spine and the pelvis to help to start to get the sacrum um, a little bit more mobilized. But a lot of times um, labor support people will use their hands on the mama's um, lower belly and sacrum and then up into the diaphragm. But if you're comfortable, what, what could be a, a nice way to do this is to use some kind of a heat. These are the smart spines. Amelia was suggesting, you know, we could also use warm um, water bottles, which would be great, hot water bottles. Um, so I'm going to have Amelia hold on to the scarf. And I'm going to place a warmy very, very lightly at her lower belly, and then another one at her sacrum. And then, does that feel, that touch okay? It and it's just a whisper of a touch, right? Because that's all you need to start to talk to the fascia. You don't want it to be too strong. And then she's gonna start to unwind. And whatever that means to her, right? So just start to go deep into her body coming into that kind of labor mind, parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest, dropping deep into her pelvis, breathing into the heat. And there's not any one right movement that she's gonna go into here. If the mother gets really kind of lost and needs guidance, you can ask them just to start to move their pelvis on that <laughs> foam airplane pillow underneath, right? So just a slow circling and breathing their tissue into the heat. And so we would of course hold this longer than we have time for in the video, but it could be up to 20 minutes, right? Where you're just lightly um, touching the lower belly and the sacrum. But I'm gonna imagine that we've already unwound this, but that we need to finish the job by coming up into the diaphragm. So I'm gonna have the warmth near the top of her belly, near her solar plexus, under the breast, and at the back of the solar plexus. Again, a whisper of a touch, and she's gonna start to work with this unwinding. It can still be a movement of her pelvis, but now she has the feedback around her rib cage also. So there's huge fascial connections between the diaphragm and the pelvis. And so we can't really unwind the pelvis without unwinding the diaphragm and vice versa, right? If you think about pregnancy and how much work and, and um, pressure that the diaphragm has on it. And there are intimate fascial connections down into the pelvic floor. 
So if we have that pressure play upwards on the diaphragm and downward on the pelvic floor, and the mother's holding herself in really habitual or rigid ways, there's gonna be a problem in both directions. And we really wanna get that right amount of movement and coordination and onlineness between the pelvic floor and the diaphragm and between the bony ring of the pelvis and the rib cage. Great, so I'm just gonna keep letting Amelia unwind here. <laughs> I'm feeling her go more and more into it. Again, I wanna mention that the scarf is very important too. So she has something to pull down on so that her ribs and pelvis really feel free. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.